Hi, this is Dr. Richard Ruling here to share with you on the topic of our highest destiny is found in understanding Christ's wedding parables. This is part three. Part one was uh, dispelling a common misunderstanding. Uh, part two was readiness for a sudden e calamity that initiates end times. And num part number three now is how we can be protected from that calamity, uh, which uh, is linked to the beginning of end times. The, uh, there are three passages that suggest uh, protection, uh, and they all are linked to the word watch in the Bible. Uh, we think, well, does that mean the evening news? Not exactly, okay? It's not about staring at the sky. In Bible times, uh, to be uh, on watch meant to be awake, uh, watching for the enemy, etc. And they were not to sleep. Uh, if they were caught sleeping, uh, Roman soldiers were executed during that time. So uh, we, we need to understand the, the word uh, watch comes from Gregorio. It, it means be awake, and that's how Christ used it in his last night, which I think was a microcosm of end time events. Uh, he, ha he celebrated the Lord's Supper with his disciples, and then they went out to watch and pray. But his disciples fell asleep, and he said, couldn't you watch one hour? Uh, he, uh, pray with me is the idea. And so uh, if we are doing that on the eve, uh, uh, let me back up and say that you know, it would be unfair for Christ to ask us to do that if we, if there were no clues as for what, as to when, because we can't watch every night. <laughs> Some people think, you know, uh, be ready all the time, uh, but the, the passages in Scripture say to watch, and uh, we 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 can't be awake every night. But the Bible says in Amos three seven, God isn't going to do anything without revealing it, and in the wedding parables, and actually three times in Matthew twenty four where he says you don't know the day of the Lord, each time he gives a clue for uh, uh, when it really is, okay? The word don't know is from Aedo, means uh, be aware, consider, understand. But Christ was saying you don't understand, it's like the days of Noah, it's like the Goodman, it's like uh, the, the man traveling to a far country. Those all fit second Passover. Passover was a time of judgment. Uh, and that's when it came on Egypt, uh, anciently. That's when Passover judgment fell on Christ. That in 70 AD, the armies came at Passover. But Christ was saying for the end time, uh, it's like a man traveling to a far country. That's in, in Matthew 25, verse 13 and 14. And uh, uh, the idea is that Israelites didn't travel in winter, but if they took a long journey in spring and couldn't get back, they were to keep Passover a month later. They weren't excused from Passover. And my point is that that Christ is the master who took, took the long journey. He went to heaven, and his return in judgment at the time of second Passover should prove to honest Jews that he really was that master, and he uh, deserves our worship, etc. So uh, this is about second Passover as a time to watch and pray, be ready for what's coming. Uh, and that might beg to us to understand when is second Passover. Uh, uh, the month begins with a new moon. In Exodus 12, verse 2, uh, God uses the word Kodesh, or Moses, when he wrote it down, Kodesh is crescent moon. It's a thin crescent that you see in the western sky just uh, 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 after uh, the moon has not been visible for one or two nights. So uh, when you see that on some night, Two weeks later would be the 14th day of the month, and if you're in the springtime, Abib, uh, after the equinox, the first new moon after the equinox is Abib, but second new moon would be seen a month later, and that would be uh, two weeks after you see the new moon, it's the time to watch and pray. Well, we've covered quite a bit, but the idea is uh, um, we have changed our biblical observances. We need to understand to watch, pray. The month doesn't begin with the Gregorian Catholic calendar. Uh, pope was a, uh, Gre Gregory was a pope, but now the, there's n the new month doesn't begin with a new moon. So it's, it's crazy. Uh, we need to get back to biblical worship and be ready uh, counting the days as God would count them. Thank you so much for considering us. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.